Hi, I am Parth Doshi. So in my last video on UiPath form, I gave you an overview of what is UiPath form, what packages you need to install, what are its different applications, what are the different properties provided in UiPath form, and other different functionalities of UiPath form. Now, in this video, we are going to create a simple personal detail form where we'll include fields like name, phone number, email ID, address, and all that. Also, we'll see what all we can include as we go through the video. So, let's get started. Uh, for this, for UiPath form, you need to install a package uipath.form.activities. For that, you need to go to manage packages. So this all steps in detail were explained in my first video getting started with UiPath forms so that you can see that you need to go in all packages and here you need to type UiPath forms and you will get that activity. So you need to install that. Okay, so let's directly start with creating the form. So I'm tracking. Okay. So now let's click on open form designer at the right hand side. You can see there are the different properties provided by UI path form. So I've clicked on open designer. Now I will get the form designer in front of me. So yeah, there we have it. Okay. So since we are creating a personal detail form, let's start with, first of all, we need to have Okay, so what we'll do is I will grab uh, track uh, layout columns over here. Save. Now in that first, let us keep over here. Let us keep it as first name. Field key is first name. Save. Also, whenever you create forms, what you need to do is just open a notepad file where you can save the field keys which we can use later like to take the data from the form so let me copy the field key of this so we'll try to create a more presentable form as well not just creating the form and understanding its features uh, the other text will let's drag it over here and name it as last name let me copy the field key, copy and save field key, paste it over here. Now, after that, we want email ID and phone number. So, let us again drag a column over here with two columns itself. Let us go to advanced and drag an email ID over here. Field key is already specified. Email. Let us paste it over here. The second we need is phone number. So we can copy this field key, save, open this particular, paste it over here. Now we have created first name, last name, email ID, phone number. The other we can keep it as, uh, we can drag a text area over here below. And we can put this as address, field key, address. Okay. So we have first name, last name, email, phone number, and address. So I think just for understanding the UI path form, this is enough. Also, now one more thing over here. We can keep this particular. So if we want all the details to be entered by the user, we can keep this as required. So you might have already encountered this particular red asterisk mark in many forms we fill where there is a certain particular property always required so for that you need to go in validation also as you can see we can specify the minimum length so when we see when we create a password we see the minimum length of the password should be 8 or 10 or something like that so this is that particular feature which is used over here so you can specify that after that we'll explore all these features in further videos as well so since this is a basic form after starting with creating the ui path form i'm just showing you the basic details we will use all that functionalities and all that features shown in other videos as well and required save 
now i think that's it so we have created our form we can change the style if we want so we can put this as 800 by 800 yeah we can do that themes we can change it to this if we want a dark theme we can put this okay so there are many so let's keep a dark theme okay exit preview save again and let's close it okay so i think i didn't copy the address field key let me open the form designer again let's go to address copy the field key save save and close let's paste it over here okay so now to access the data of the form we need to click form field collection so disable this because whatever we have we want we have already created that okay so let us copy this first name copy minimize paste it over here which string and let's paste it over the same so here you need to create a variable name this same name it as an argument itself after that we need to create the last name copy paste done after that third one we have is an email copy paste it over here okay so for this control key variable after that we have phone number so let us copy this paste it over here control k paste it over after that we have address so these are the steps you need to perform to extract the data filled in the form copy paste so now since we are taking the output from the form this all needs to be out arguments okay so phone number you can keep it as integer other i think rest is okay so where do we have an error over here we have a phone number okay paste a variable with phone number already exists so let's save this let's keep it as string only here we need to create double d r e s s okay so now as you can see all the errors are gone so now what we'll do is we'll see whether we are able to access all this data or not so what does let us do is take a message box and display all the data over here so let me just do this particular thing okay not this we'll, so on click of submit so we'll create a submit over here. So let us take selected. Okay, let us try a message box. Now we will display the fields which we have. Text. We have name, colon space, a plus sign. First name. So your first name is this. Now after that, so we are now taking another line. Here we are typing last name colon space last name plus environment dot new line. Then over here plus we are specifying so what we have the first name last name we have email id colon space plus 
email plus environment dot new line then a plus after that i think we have a phone number phone space phone number plus environment dot new line and finally we have the address woman dot new line that's it so we are just displaying the message box where will we will display all the data okay so now let's run this form and see whether we are able to extract all the details or not now the file is getting executed now in further videos we'll see how we can take this data how we can add multiple buttons and perform particular actions or activities on click of that button so we'll further see in next videos if there are two buttons submit and reset so on click of submit how we can submit the data into an excel file and on click of reset how we can empty the fields so we have let me fill in my details par doshi par doshi 244 at then we have seven six two zero three double four five zero two. Let in, for this, let me just add Mumbai since we are just testing it. Now let's click on submit. So all the required fields. If I would have removed this, you can see this is required. I can't submit before the required. So let's click on submit. Now as you can see, we are able to access all the details we filled in the form. So just by creating that particular property. A form field collection and keeping the name same, we were easily able to extract all the details in the proper format in the variable. So now you can use this variable to add into an Excel file or whatever we are doing. So let's click on OK. So this was a basic introduction, or we can say a basic form which you can create a personal detail form where we took the first name, last name, email ID, phone number, and the address, and we were able to access all that details outside the form. Now in further videos i will try to show you how you can use this form fields output data selected button what is the purpose of this and how we can even use just by creating the form fields collection over here we can design that in the form automatically using generate input field so there are there will be many videos coming on my channel on ui path forms with different application as well so thank you for watching the complete video Please do subscribe my channel if you like the video and the content what I'm posting regularly. Also, please press the bell icon to stay updated to the new videos I upload.